Welcome to Midnight Dolls with Ella and Safi, Sophie and Felicia, Charlie and Eliza, April and Dan May, and Isa. Hope you enjoy. Hi, so just before we start, we just want to say we do not know how to pronounce her name. So we're just going to call her Isa. We've watched a couple of videos and they say Isa, but we've kind of got it into our heads that it's Isa because whenever we've been referring to her, we've been referring, referring to her as Isa. So we're just going to call her Isa. Like if you get the doll, um, you can call it Isa. Like we don't know if that's what you're meant to be calling her. We just thought we were just going to call that Isa just because that's what we've got into our heads. Um, yeah, just so you know. Hello everyone and welcome back to Dory Dreams. And today we are all really excited because our generation Isa has just arrived. Look at her. So we're going to be doing a video on her and we're going to be opening her which we are so excited about. Seriously. So we're just going to do a quick overview of what she looks like in the box. She looks awesome. Look at her first outfit, which is a dress with an apron. And her second one, which is behind here, which is a um, top and some jeans. Uh, roll skates there too. Got some accessories and the accessories are pizza. And also comes with a book, which is, I think it's like Isa and Noah a fair share at the diner. So that is really cool. That is what she looks like in the front. The inside has a really nice pattern on it. The back has a little bit of a picture of the book, picture of the outfit, and picture of her in her first outfit. Um, I've got this at the top. I'm not going to read it. You can pause the video if you want to read it. Um, yeah, it says this on lots of, I think it's all of the uh, generation outfits. And this is Katie's story. So, that's really cool. Um, the top just says this is our story. The other side says this is our story and then... Yeah. And then just on the bottom is... <laughs> just is that, not that interesting on the bottom. But the front is the bit that is the most exciting. Right, we're gonna open her. So this is just us opening Isa. So, as always, our generation sets are so difficult to get into. So, you have to like, cut like the first bit, get the main like, bit out and then cut all the different ropes at the side and uh, the little like plastic tags and then all of the like, um, plastic kind of one bits that hold the pizza and accessories and stuff they're so tricky to get into with that is our only criticism with this it is like yeah <laughs> but i mean the actual doll um herself is awesome and the outfits and accessories yeah completely recommend just the opening that is a little bit tricky to do So we just cut all the little strings and stuff at the back, and then we pulled up the box, and our first impression of Isa was obviously, like, she's adorable, but her hair, like, it's so curly. We weren't really expecting it to be as curly as such. It kind of looks more wavy on the box, I suppose, but it was a really curly, like, a lot more curly than we were expecting, and <laughs> yes. And her second outfit looks gorgeous too, so it comes with like a light blue kind of turquoise, um, three quarter length top, and then also some jeggings, which are awesome. More about that later. Well, this is all that Isa comes with, but first of all, we're just going to take her pigtails out of the, um, like these extra bands down here. We don't want them. <laughs> Oh, 
Oh, look at her with her really cute little curls. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. But anyway, I saw this is um, the video we're making on opening you. So we have explained to Isa about um, our YouTube channel. So say hi. Hello, everyone. So we are actually just going to show you all what it comes with. So first of all, you obviously have the doll herself. She is awesome. Look at her. Oh my goodness. So her legs, we are actually, we're actually really surprised. Her legs are really difficult to move, even compared to April's. And April is also an odd generation doll. Don't really know why, if that's just because she's new, maybe. Um, so yes. So her shoes are also really adorable. So they're these black ones with these bows on. They look really cool. They're just these slip-ons. So, um, so they should be able to, so they can come off quite easily, but stay on as well, I guess. And also with the shoes, um, they, on the back, they just have this, like, line kind of thing. Front. And they look really cool. Just comes with these adorable pair of socks. We haven't taken them off yet. That's cute. Um, so, really nice and stretchy, really soft as well, this kind of light pink colour, which is really cute as well, and they fit really nicely on Isa herself, um, that's really cool, and then the dress that she is wearing, um, is also really nice, so, it has these black and white stripes as you can see it comes with an apron which i'm like by looking at the thing that says like about it you can take the apron off it's just attached here and oh it has velcro at the top so that's really cool so it can like be easily taken on and off same with the around there That is an adorable little apron you've got there. That is cool. Then this is a really nice little dress as well. So it is, um, it's not that stretchy. It's kind of a thinnish material. Um, Velcro down the back as always. Um, only goes down part way. And yes, um, so that is dress, I guess. We just got Isa kind of a little bit naked, I suppose. But the dress, you can just see, there's not really much more to it apart from that. So that's the dress. And then Isa herself, so she can move her arms, her legs, as you can see, because she sat down, and her head can move. And also because she is a deluxe doll, she can actually bend her arms. So we have only tried this like once on her. So kind of, oh yeah, kind of unbends a bit. But you can see that it's kind of bent. Um, she can bend her arms and she can also bend her legs, which we haven't actually tried yet. Which I suppose would be really cool. Let's try it. Okay, that's pretty cool. So it's like almost she's running. Looks a little bit weird when it is bent, so we won't do it too often, but it is a cool addition to have. So we just put Isa's dress back on because she didn't want to be naked for the whole video. But if we go to the details in her face, so Isa is sleepy eyed, so that means you can lay her down and she will close her eyes, which is really cool. Um, and also, Isa has the newer generation face mold. It's not actually that new anymore, but it's a new one compared to the old one. Um, the hair is gorgeous. Look at the little like curls at the end. It's um, kind of meant to be wavy, I suppose, but they are pretty curly at the end. Um, so that is pretty cool. We'll just turn her around so you can see them a little bit better. 
so she has a parting down the mis middle of her hair as you can see so I, uh, April had this as well um, when we got April out of the box which was before we got YouTube so <laughs> yeah the hair is adorable it's kind of I don't know if you can see closely it's got different colored strands in it which kind of makes it look kind of more realistic so that is really cool just comes with these two kind of almost loom band things to hold her hair which we're probably not gonna keep um but yeah it is really cool lovely curls don't know how well they'll stay in but i do hope they stay in pretty well um and this is the doll i suppose um so yeah so we've told you about Ice's first outfit, we'll tell her, tell you about her second outfit because she just is a deluxe doll and comes with two outfits which is super cool. So um, it is this long sleeve, just kind of like three quarter length um, t-shirt but it's like a, yeah, um, has this glittery like gold, kind of rose gold um, star in it which is really cool got a little uh, generation logo down there um it's kind of stretchy material so that's really cool and it just has velcro down the down the back that is also really cool um yeah so that is the top that it comes with um has the kind of jeggings kind of jeans um they are really stretchy well they're not that stretchy but they are pretty stretchy um the it like looks really realistic like the jean kind of material um has elastic around the back but it doesn't have any at the front but it is kind of stretchy material anyway but it does have elastic around the back um and the jeggings and then it comes with these adorable um little roller skates so the wheels actually move it's kind of got these like pinky orange wheel here in this light blue kind of wheel there that's real cool it's got a stopper there as well um you can undo the laces which i think is a super cool addition um is really cool fit your dolls put in there we will change icer into it in a minute um and do the same with both and that is really cool so let's change Isa into the second outfit So this is Isa's second outfit. So we'll stop with the shoes. So they are adorable and you can actually like skate around, which is also really cool. But one thing, the laces. So we know this is a problem with lots of our generation shoes, especially the laces, especially the roller skates. The laces are too short. Like we tried tying this one in a bow and it just failed. This one, yeah, we didn't. <laughs> managed to do that but other than that the laces are adorable they're quite easy to get your dolls feet into um yeah that's really nice i suppose and the jeggings are really stretchy um yeah really comfortable i suppose and then the top is gorgeous the sparkles in this it is kind of three quarter length um looks really cool we will turn you to show the back so you can see the velcro just see the velcro and the jeggings and then the back of the roller skates so 
the second outfit is definitely really, really cool. I love it. And then also if you wanted, you could take the roller skates off and replace them with the black shoes. Now we're going to show you the accessories that came with Isa. So that is this pizza and pizza cutter. So the pizza cutter does actually roll. It's a little stiff, but I presume if you just keep on using it, it should loosen up, but it does actually spin, so that's really cool. Um, anything else about the pizza cutter, I guess? Not really. Um, yeah, it's really cool. The dolls can pretend to cut it. It's really cool. And then the pizza cup. So it comes with a pizza board, and it's six slices of pizza, but you can actually... I was going to say you can actually tip it upside down and it'll stay on. It has a bit of um like friction so it can kind of stay stuck together kind of um we'll just put all the pieces back on um sometimes so there's this so it does oh come on so yeah it does just about stay on so there we are so you can tip it like that but don't tip it upside down because we'll stay well won't like stick on but it's really cool six different sizes got mushroom pepperoni and pepper and then cheese obviously um and that is really cool it's quite a nice big pizza so I have five dolls now, so six slices and then um, one each and one to spare, I suppose. But it's really cool with the pizza cutter that the doll can actually pretend to like cut the pizza um, into different slices. So that is really, really cool. Definitely, um, we'll use this in the future. That is a really nice little feature. So... The pizza was really cool, but something else that the doll Isa comes with, not that this is like enough or anything, but it does actually come with a book. So it is called A Fair Share at the Diner, and it is with the dolls Isa and Noah. So Noah is actually like the, it's, I think it's meant to be um, Isa's best friend or something, so they, um... So Isa and Noah actually have the same outfits and accessories. So if you bought Noah, you would also get the pizza, the pizza cutter, the skates, this outfit, and also the dress as well. So, um, yes. Um, we haven't read it, but the blurb says, so that is the, um, blurb so we presume it's like about I'm throwing a fundraising party and it does actually have colored photos such as this one so this is the kitten I presume um don't want to spoil too much so the two of them are presumably in the diner and they're talking or something <laughs> so this book book is really cool um, it's like a hardback book, which is cool. Um, it's got relatively big words, so, um, it should be relatively easy to read. It is a, quite a long book, to be honest. Like, that is quite long, but that's really cool. It also has a, uh, Zola glossary at the end, or in the So many words have more than one meaning. Here are the definitions of words that marked with this symbol, which is an asterisk, and they're used in the story. So it's like all of the um, sometimes a little bit more tricky words that you might not know the meaning of. You could just go back to the index and um, have a look at what it means. So, for example, my dad relented. So you could go to the back. Uh, here we are, became more forgiving. 
that is a really cool addition and it looks a really cool book also comes with this paper bookmark which says this is our story our generation from our generation.com except we actually got it from our generation.co.uk but you know um and it's got the hearts on the back which is really cool um so if you're reading and then you're like um in the middle of like say stuck here um stop there do that it's a really nice little bookmark and you can use this bookmark for other books it doesn't necessarily have to be for this book so that is really really cool and last there's kind of like a little extra it's this hair care guide thing so a little advert about if you want to become an og toy tester um and then how to brush my hair so we can put this here and you can read it if you would like So, yeah, this is the, um, hair care guide. Um, so, it does say if I have wavy hair, which I do, um, be very gentle when brushing out the ends. This will help observe my curls. So we'll definitely take that in mind when we're giving Vice's hair a brush. So, overall, this doll is definitely worth buying. We would 100% recommend it. She is a little bit on the expensive side, so um, we bought her for £47.99, so um, it's a little bit expensive, but if you do think about it, a regular doll costs about £30, plus um, an extra deluxe outfit, which is £17, so that could be the this outfit plus the pizza, or it could be <laughs> this outfit plus pizza. Um, uh, an extra seventeen ninety nine or whatever. Um, then it comes with a book, and the doll has, um, like bendable arms and legs. So it is kind of worth it, I suppose, but a little bit on the expensive side. But we would still totally recommend her. She is so awesome. We absolutely love her. Oh, and also, if you're still watching. You might have seen our video, it might not be up yet, but we might have, you might have seen this video where we opened the Our Generation Perfect score outfit. So, we did that and it came with a pair of glasses. And these glasses are actually going to be Isis glasses. Probably she's going to wear them all of the time. So, we're just going to see what they look. This is honestly the first time we have put them on Isa. So, let's do it. We hope they fit because it's the new Our Generation face mold. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they don't really fit, but they didn't really fit um, April anyway. She looks pretty nice with those. I do kind of like it. But yeah, these are pretty cool. They're probably going to be her glasses. They might be her reading glasses, but probably going to be her all the time ones. So, I still looks really cool with these. So, thanks for watching. Bye. Thanks for watching Midnight Dolls with Ella and Safi, Sophie and Felicia, Charlie and Eliza, April and Dan May, and Isa. Hope you enjoyed.